Hey guys, let's talk uh, web shells. Okay, now on, on your College of Linux applications, uh, we got web application analysis. You see web shells here. Now, you can click on that if you want to, but we can do it just as easily from a terminal. I'm going to do that. Okay. And I'm going to sudo up. Okay. Now we type web shells. Now let's see what it does. Poof. Now you notice I was in my home directory where I sudoed up and it automatically went to this directory. A new path. So now it's to ls. It's showing us a directory tree. And let's say PHP. Most of you are familiar with PHP. Go into there. Now looky here. PHP backdoor, reverse shell. Uh, now what you're looking at is a collection of web shells. That we, well, which it tells you here, but it's a collection of web shells that enable you to control the web server. So if you can connect through SSL or uh, SSH, uh, um, Netcat, whatever method you use to connect, that you're able to upload a file to this web server, then you can get access to the web server through a web browser. You just call up that file that you just uploaded and poof you got a reverse shell connected automatically okay and if you need some help with that the developer if we go into his uh, particular directory you can see you got some helpers there all right shell pi now what that will do is it will automatically try to uh, communicate with whatever shell you have up there. Let's do the help. There you go. And there's your commands. Easy remote shell. So if you don't know the all the commands, all you need to type it in order to connect to it and do things with it, this can help you do that. That's exactly what it is, a helper for you. Okay. And there are ASPX, ASPs, JSPs, WordPress. We have uh, particular ones for WordPress because it's set up a little differently okay um, I'm not sure what this one we'll see what this shows us uh, yeah it's not on the server so it's not going to work correctly but um, if we were to look at the source on the Lobman file I'm sure it probably tells you a bit about the templates and what they are and the templates these are specifically designed for a WordPress site. You can set up a proxy, your settings for it, get a direct shell, uh, reverse shell, um, kill netcat if you have netcat going, get the IP address instantly to host, uh, check the files, the DNS, uh, all kinds of different things you can do here. Okay. So that's what web shells are. Pretty easy. It's just a collection of, of helper goodies for website exploitation. All right, have a good day.